if you are given two variables like this, x equal to 10, which means x holds 10, and y equal to 5, which means y holds 5. How to swap the value of x and the value of y so that x equal to 5 and y equal to 10? Is it x equal to y or y equal to x? Hi coders! Welcome to CS Time channel. In this video, I will talk about variables in Java and Sudoku. Stay tuned! Variables in programming is the name of a reserved area allocated in memory. Variables act as storage location for data in a program. It's a way of naming information for later usage. And to store information in a variable, you use equal sign. For example, it's like here. You want to store 5 in variable A, then you write A equal to 5. Variable can only store one data element at one time. Each variable can store a particular type of data like strings, reals, boolean, and integers. Now let's see the example on how to name the variable. For example like this, n. It's fine to write your variable with n, however, it's a poor choice. One, it has no meaning. Another one, when you work as a team programmer, it will be difficult for other members to understand what the N is. Another choice is like this, name. It is okay, but a bit fake. The better option is name of student or name underscore of underscore student because it has the same meaning. Another example, student space name. This is wrong because you are not allowed to use space. Now, let's see how to declare variables. This is an example. You can write the name of the variable and tell what is the data type. Or you can uh, write the data type and then the variable. This is applied only to pseudocode. code. When it comes to programming language, it depends to the programming language itself. Now, how to change variable's value? For example, like this, a equal to 2. It means you assign value 2 to a. Whenever you call the a or you output the a, the output will be 2. As soon as you give another instruction or uh, code after this, a equal to a plus 1, then the final a will be replaced by the latest value. In this case, 2 plus 1, our a will be 3. Also here, 3 minus 1, the a will be 2. Another example, what is the value of x after this commands being executed? We can see here, x assign value 10. So our x now, 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 minus 5 is 15. The output is 15. The first x, the second x will not be displayed. Only the latest one will be displayed. Now how about swapping variables value like the following? We assign 10 to x and 5 to y. So when we print it on Java, it will look like the following. The value of x is 10 and the value of y is 5. And if we want it swap, then after swapping in Java, it will look like the value of x is 5 and the value of y is 10. How to do that? You might think, oh, that's simple. Just print the value of x is display y. And then the value of y is display x, like the following. Print the value of x is y. It means we display the value of y on x. And then print the value of y is x. We display the value of x on y. It looks correct in the output. However, the value of x and y never swap at all. So the solution is 
by making use of another variable. Here, I use TMP as my other variable, so I assign the value of x to TMP. This instruction means that TMP holds the value of x. And then after that, I assign the value of y to x. It means the, the x holds the value of y. And finally, I can assign the TMP to y. It means my y now holds the TMP value. By doing this, after I print it in Java, it will look like the following. The value of x is x and the value of y is y because x now already hold the value of y and then the y now holds the value of x. Now let's see the conversion of these variables in Java. At the same time, I already prepared a program. Here, I make use of Eclipse as my IDE. So I will just paste it here. Now, let's see the program. We declare the x with integer and we assign them to x. The same for y, we declare it with integer and we assign 5 to y. When we display it in Java, it looks like the following. The value of x is x and then the value of y is y. Now our job is to swap these two variables. We need another variable, which is TMP that I use here. I also declare it with integer. Now I assign the value of x to TMP. My TMP now hold x. And then my x now hold y because I assign y to x. And now my y hold TMP, which is the previous value of x. After I'm done like this, the value will be swapped. So when I display it, the value of x is x, my latest x is the y value. And then the value of y is y, means my latest y is the value of x that I previously assigned to TMP. Now let's run the program. Okay, here is the result. The value of x is 10 and then the value of y is 5. And then after swapping, now the value of x is 5 and the value of y is 10. There are three types of variables when it comes to programming. Local, instance, as well as static variables. Local variables. Declare inside the body of the method. Use only within that method cannot be defined with static keyword. Let's see the second one, instance variable. It is declared inside the class but outside the body of the method and it is not declared as static. Its value is instance specific and is not shared among instances. The last one is static variables. It is declared as static. It cannot be local and memory allocation for static variables happens only once when the class is loaded in the memory. Here is the example of the variables. We see the static variables here from the keyword static. And then local variables located is inside the method. And then the last one instance variables is inside the main method. So it's belong to the class. Well, if you learned something from this video, please subscribe and like for more videos. Thanks for watching.